So in this question here, we're being asked to come up with the, the exact value of the negative tangent of 135. Now, there is a negative out front. That basically, in terms of order of operations, think of it like this. There's a set of brackets around the 135. That, um, so I have to do the tangent of 135 first, and then I'm going to make it negative. Okay? That negative happens afterwards here. So let's just think about this right now. 135 is in what quadrant? Okay, well, 135 is in quadrant 2. Um, what reference angle? Or, or sorry, I shouldn't ask that. First of all, is tangent positive or negative in quadrant 2? Well, okay, tangent is negative. Okay, my reference angle is going to be what? Well, for 135 here, remember, I'm comparing this to the x-axis here. So what I've got here is it's a, uh, 135 right here. What's left over here? Uh, well, 45 degrees. So this is going to be the negative tangent. Oh, sorry, my mistake here. Not the negative tangent. Uh, it would be the negative tangent, but there's a negative out front there already. So those two negatives are going to cancel. And so we're going to end up with the positive tangent of 45 degrees. <coughs> now, again, think about your unit circle. Think about your special triangles. What is the tangent of 45? The answer is 1. So. Normally, that if, if there hadn't been for the negative out front here, that would have been negative 1. But because of the negative out front here, uh, introducing a second negative value there, or negative sign, uh, the answer is going to be positive 1.